Francis Melcher Dinkle was born July 20, 1962. William is an American former licensed practical nurse, LPN. In 2011, he was found guilty of encouraging people to die by suicide. He allegedly told those contemplating suicide what methods worked best, that it was a decent choice to take your own life, that they would be better off in heaven and are falsely entered into suicide pacts with them. He is a married father of two. Melcher Dinkle was originally convicted of two counts of assisting suicide for encouraging the July 27, 2005 suicide of 32-year-old Mark Drebrell, a British IT technician, and the March 9, 2008 suicide of 18-year-old Najika Jauji a student at Carleton University in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada via internet chat rooms. Those convictions were later overturned by the Minnesota Supreme Court when it found that part of the state law used to convict him was unconstitutional. On remand, Melcher Dinkle was convicted on one count of assisting suicide and one count of attempted assisting suicide. He served 178 days in jail and will be on probation for 10 years. William Francis Melcher Dinkle allegedly met his victims in internet suicide chat rooms, where he posed as a depressed woman in her 20s using aliases, such as Carmi D or Falcon Girl. According to his affidavit, Melcher Dinkle spoke to dozens of people over the course of four or five years encouraging them to kill themselves, typically by hanging. He said he was successful in at least five instances. Melcher Dinkle was convicted in relation to the suicide of 18-year-old Najika Jauji, who became depressed after leaving home to begin university. A resident at Ottawa's Carleton University, she jumped from a bridge and was found drowned in the Rideau River in April 2008. Kaj Algi had conversed online with someone posing as a young woman now known to be Melcher Dinkle who suggested that Kaj Algi hang herself, gave her detailed instructions how to do it, and taught her to capture her final moments with the webcam so she and others could watch as part of a joint suicide pact. St. Paul Minnesota police said they confirmed that she had been conversing with Melcher Dinkle online just prior to her disappearance, including on the day of her suicide. Ottawa police decided not to charge Melcher Dinkle under the Canadian Assisted Suicide Law. He was also convicted in relation to the suicide of Mark Drebrell, a 32-year-old IT technician who in the wake of suffering a nervous breakdown and being depressed hanged himself in his Coventry, England home in July 2005, after allegedly chatting for two months with someone allegedly using the alias as Falcon Girl and Lidu. Melcher Dinkle was charged with counselling Dre Brow on how to kill himself. In November 2006, Celia Blay, a retired British school teacher, living in Maiden Bradley, Wiltshire, received word from a teenage friend in South America that she had entered a suicide pact with a young nurse. Blay investigated Melchert Dinkle's Lidu identity and discovered that he had previously agreed to earlier suicide pacts. She convinced the girl to break the pact four hours before the planned suicide, saving her life. Throughout the following year, Blay posted warnings about Lidu on other chat websites. She also discovered Melcher Dinkle's Falcon Girl and Carmi D identities and talked to users who entered other pacts in which he arranged to have attempted victims die in front of their webcams. After months of collecting evidence about Melcher Dinkle's activities, Blay approached the local police. They opted not to investigate. In January 2008, around the time Melcher Dinkle was corresponding with Kajauji, Blay and a friend, Catlo, set up a sting to catch Carmi D in the act of attempting a suicide pact. 
It was during this correspondence that Melchert Dinkle described seeing a man from Birmingham, thought to be Drebrell, hang himself on his webcam. Lo and Blay gained Melchert Dinkle's trust and found information that traced him back to his IP address and residence in Minnesota. In a stroke of luck, they also saw Melchert Dinkle through a webcam feed, posing as Kermy D. Blay submitted an affidavit on the matter to the Federal Bureau of Investigation, but received no response. However, the St. Paul Police Department and the Minnesota Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force agreed to take the case. Melchert Dinkle was convicted on March 15, 2011, in a criminal complaint filed in Rice County, Minnesota. He was charged with advising, encouraging, or assisting Kedge Algae and Dree Brow in taking their own lives using Internet correspondence. He was ordered to not use the internet while the case was underway. While encouraging suicide is illegal, laws in North America and Britain have not previously been successfully used to prosecute anyone for promoting suicide over the internet. He was found guilty of aiding a suicide under Minnesota law, which provides penalties for anyone who intentionally advises, encourages, or assists another in taking the other's own life. Punishment can be up to 15 years in prison and a fine of up to $30,000. He was sentenced on May 4, 2011, to 360 days in jail. On July 27, 2012, the Minnesota Court of Appeals affirmed the conviction. The Minnesota Supreme Court subsequently agreed to review the case. On March 19, 2014, the Supreme Court reversed the conviction and remanded. The High Court held that the Minnesota statute under which Melchert Dinkle had been convicted was unconstitutional in part. The Court held that merely advising or encouraging suicide was speech protected by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, and that those prohibitions were unconstitutional. It went on to hold. However, that speech which actually assisted a suicide was not protected. Since the trial court made factual findings only with respect to encouraging and advising, the Supreme Court reversed the conviction. It remanded the case, however, for the lower court to determine whether Melchert Dinkle had actually assisted the suicides within the meaning of the statute. On October 15, 2014, Rice County District Judge Thomas Newville sentenced William Melcher Dinkle to three years in prison, but suspended that sentence if Melcher Dinkle serves 360 days in jail and abides by the terms of his probation for 10 years after his release. A month prior to the sentencing, Judge Newville found that Melcher Dinkle intentionally advised and encouraged Dree Brow and Kaj Algy to commit suicide. After the case had been remanded by the Minnesota Supreme Court, Melcher Dinkle was convicted of assisting the suicide of Mark Drebell and attempting to assist the suicide of Naja Kaj Algy, because she ultimately took her own life by jumping off a bridge into a frozen river, rather than by hanging as Melchert Dinkle had allegedly suggested to her online. During his second sentencing hearing, Melchert Dinkle stated, I am sorry for my actions and what I have done. I have repented. William Melchert Dinkle reported to jail on October 24, 2014. Even after his release from prison in February 2015, his lawyer has continued to appeal the conviction. Thank you for watching Fathers on the Case. Please like and subscribe.